So when you're looking at the market, you're not trying to decide, is there no competition? What you're trying to decide is, how do I compare against the competition? Hi, my name is Devin. Today, I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson, and today I want to talk to you about what happens when I meet with a lot of new aspiring entrepreneurs. And uh, it's, a, it's a theme that I see over and over again that goes through people's heads when they're thinking about launching a new idea or new business. And what happens is I'll meet with someone and they'll tell me their idea and I'll be super energized by it. And we'll talk it through and I'm be like, wow, that's really cool. I love it. I think that's great. Why don't you go for it? Go do a little research. Go, you know, check out, you know, competition, check out the market, come back and see me, you know, in a month or two. And we'll talk about, you know, a launch plan. We'll talk about where to go, what, what the next move is. And I'll notice that a few months ago by, and maybe I'll bump into the person somewhere when I'm out and I'll ask him, say, Hey, what happened to the idea? And, you know, you can just see they're like, their, their face just like drop and they just get super sad. And they're like, well, I did what you told me to do. I went and researched it and I found out there's a lot of competition. There's all kinds of these companies doing exactly what my idea was. And, you know, I just figured, you know what, I, I'm too late. You know, somebody else came up with the idea first. And I hear this all the time. I've even thought this myself, but what I've learned is very important and what I've learned is that when you're in a market that has competition, it shows that there's business and money to be made there, right? Like I, the flip side and what the ideal is in our minds is that we're going to come up with this idea and we're going to start this company that nobody has ever done before. And we're going to come up with this new idea, this new product, and it's going to be unbelievable with no competition. Well, let me tell you the reality of that. The way that that works, it is actually much harder than going into a business that has competition. And you'll say, oh, geez, that's counterintuitive. And I used to think so as well. Um, I still maintain that that one of the best ideas I ever had for one of my companies that we launched, and I I spent a lot of money on this company. I was over half a million dollars all in once we, uh, by, by the time I shut the doors and said enough is enough. But this company, nobody else that was doing what we were doing. And even when we, when we marketed it and we, we had the salespeople trying to sell it and they were talking to people, everyone was like, wow, this is a really neat idea, but nobody bought it. Like it just never went anywhere. And as I realized the problem was, was we were the very, very first people to come up with this idea. And so people kind of liked it, but they couldn't say, oh yeah, I've seen this before, or I've had this at another company, or, you know, they had nothing to compare it to. There was no comfort that they had with it. We had to kind of create the need and then fulfill the need that they didn't know that they had. And so it became very difficult being brand new, coming up with a brand new idea. It's kind of like, you know, how MySpace went and created this market, And then Facebook took it over, right? Like a lot of times you don't want to be the first person in the market, if you know what I mean. Um, And so people get get scared having competition. But what I would say is the competition proves the market's there. The competition proves that people are willing to spend money on this. And so if there's 10 competitors out there, Could you be number 11? Heck yeah, you could be number 11. And if you're number 11, could you be better than number 10, 11, or 10, 9, 8, 7, 6? You know, after a couple years, could you be number five out of those 11? Absolutely. So when you're looking at the market, you're not trying to decide, is there no competition? What you're trying to decide is, how do I compare against the competition? What would be my niche? What's my go-to plan or go-to market plan? What makes me different than the competition? 
competition because that's really what you want to know because it's great that people have proven that, hey, people are going to spend money on this. People will buy this product. People will buy this service. So all of a sudden you go, well, hey, I'm, you know, I'm in hometown USA and there's already five other landscaping companies and I'm thinking about becoming the six, but you know, geez, if there's five, there's probably no room for another landscaping company. Well, what could you do different, right? Number one, can you do landscaping, but could you also do tree maintenance? Could you do landscaping in the winters? Hey, you're going to provide a service where you plow uh, driveways. You could do landscaping, but you also do, um, you know, I don't know, uh, driveway, asphalt repair, some other different aspects, a different market, maybe a different price point. Maybe you go to the very high end, right? Where you only offer a very, very high end service. Maybe you actually go and go at a very low end. Maybe you try to be the least expensive in the market. Why, where do you fit in with the competition? Not is there competition? I think this is a differentiator. So don't be afraid of the fact of there being competition. So a lot of times when I meet with these people and I wanted them to come back and tell me, yeah, I researched it. I found out that there's five major competitors. And so great. Awesome. Number one, we know that people will spend money. We know that there's a, a, a market out there for that. We know that people are interested because there's already five other c- competitors doing this, but where do you fit in against that competition? And so when they come back to me, what I was hoping to hear is tell me about the competition and tell me where you think you might fit in against the competition. And from there, let's develop a go to market plan so that we can fulfill a need within that's perhaps what your perception is of a saturated market. I'm Devin, and this is a Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast. And if you learn this, I know it'll help you.